react and react native are among the most popular technologies used to create various types of applications owing to the fact that they are developed by the same company react and react native are very much similar yet different from each other so hey guys welcome back to a whole new session from edureka my name is vajiha and in today's session we're going to differentiate between react and react native we'll start the session by understanding what is react and the features of react then we shall take a look at react native and its features finally we'll do a head to head comparison between react and react native okay so without any further delays let's move on what exactly is react react is a javascript library that is used to build user interface for web applications react js was developed by jordan walk a software engineer working at facebook facebook implemented react js in 2011 in its news feed section but it was released to the public on may 2013 after the implementation of react facebook's ui underwent drastic improvement this resulted in satisfied users and a sudden boost in its popularity not just that react is also used in other facebook applications such as whatsapp instagram etc popular websites like netflix airbnb dropbox etc make use of react to build their ui It is currently one of the most popular JavaScript front-end libraries, which has strong foundation and a large community supporting it. Stack Overflow Developer Survey 2020 shows that React is is the second most loved web framework, just after ASP.NET Core. Not just that, React also tops the list of most wanted web frameworks. Since React is only a front-end library and not the whole framework, it deals only with the view component of the MVC or the Model View Controller architecture. In React, everything is a component. Consider one Lego house as an entire application. Then compare each of the Lego blocks to the component which acts as a building block. These blocks or components are integrated together to build one bigger and dynamic application. The biggest advantage of using components is that you can change any component at any point in time without affecting the rest of the application. This feature is most effective when implemented with larger and real-time applications where the data changes frequently. Each time any data is added or updated, React automatically updates the specific component whose state has actually changed. This saves the browser from the task of reloading the whole application to reflect the changes. So talking about the features of React. JSX. JSX stands for JavaScript XML. It is an XML HTML like syntax used by React. It extends the ECMAScript so that XML or HTML like text can coexist along with the JavaScript React code. This syntax is used by the preprocessors like Babel to transform HTML like text found in JavaScript files into standard JavaScript objects. With JSX, you can go a step further by again embedding the HTML code inside the JavaScript. This makes HTML code easy to understand and boosts JavaScript performance while making our application robust. Virtual DOM. Like an actual DOM, Virtual DOM is also a node tree that lists the elements and their attributes and content as objects and their properties. React's render function creates a node tree out of the React components. Then it updates this tree in response to the mutations in data model caused by various actions done either by the user or by the system. Virtual DOM works in three steps. Whenever any underlying data changes, the entire UI is re-rendered in the virtual DOM representation. Then the difference between the previous DOM representation and the new one is calculated. Once the calculations are done, the real DOM will be updated only with the things that have actually changed. This makes our application much faster and there is no memory wastage. Testability. React views can be used as functions of the state. State is an object which determines how a component will render and behave. Thus, we can easily manipulate with the state of components which we pass to the React view and take a look at the output and triggered actions, events, functions, etc. This makes React applications quite easy to test and debug. Server side rendering. Server side rendering allows you to pre-render the initial state of your React components at the server side only. With SSR, the server's response to the browser becomes only the HTML of the page which is now ready to be rendered. Thus, the browser can now start rendering without having to wait for all the JavaScript to be loaded and executed. 
as a result, the web page loads faster. Here, the user will be able to see the real web page in spite of React still downloading the JavaScript, creating the virtual DOM, linking events, etc. at the backend. One way data binding. Unlike other frameworks, React follows unidirectional data flow for one way data binding. The major advantage of one way data binding is that throughout the application, the data flows in a single direction, which gives you a better control over it. Because of this, application's state is contained in specific stores, and as a result, rest of the components remained loosely coupled. This makes our application more flexible, leading to increased efficiency. Simplicity. The use of JSX files makes the application really simple and easy to code as well as understand. Even though we can use plain JavaScript here, using JSX is easier. React's component based approach, along with distinct lifecycle methods, also makes it simple to learn. Okay, so now moving on towards React Native. React Native is a cross platform mobile application development framework. React Native was also created by Facebook. It makes use of JavaScript as the base language. Over the years, JavaScript has gained immense popularity due to the ease in learning and widespread usage. If someone is well versed with JavaScript, they can start developing applications using React Native without wasting much time getting accustomed to the framework. React Native's architecture heavily relies on JavaScript runtime environment architecture, also known as JavaScript Bridge. The JavaScript code is compiled into native code at runtime. React Native uses Flux architecture from Facebook. In short, React Native uses JavaScript bridge to communicate with the native modules. With React Native, a developer is just provided with UI rendering and device access modules. For native features, React Native is heavily dependent on third-party libraries and modules. So coming towards the features of React Native. Write once and use everywhere. This is React Native's base feature. It means that the code written in React Native can be used on any of the mobile platforms to build native applications or applications that work on multiple platforms. Language. As mentioned earlier, React Native makes use of JavaScript, which is one of the most popular and widely used web development languages. For every web developer, JavaScript is a must have skill. What's more, this ultra essential skill is very easy to learn and to implement. Community support. When it comes to community support, React Native surely has a diverse community that even hosts international meetups. Plugins. When you make use of React Native, you have a great advantage of adding additional third party packages or plugins that you would like to use in your application. Live Reload. The Live Reload feature is one of the best features that assists the developer while creating the application. Using Live Reload, you will be able to modify the code as well as see the modifications simultaneously. Testing. React Native is cost efficient when it comes to testing. It provides a few unit testing functionalities through JavaScript frameworks and snapshot testing can be done using tools like Jest. For other sorts of testing, applications built using React Native heavily depend on third party applications. So now that you know what is React and React Native and their features, let's move on and see what is the difference between them. So the first factor that we're going to talk about is the application types or the usage. React is used to develop web applications, whereas React Native is used for mobile application development. Some examples of web applications created using React are Facebook, Netflix, New York Times, Yahoo Mail, etc. On the other hand, React Native is used in mobile applications such as Instagram, Facebook Ads Manager, Bloomberg, Airbnb, Uber Eats, etc. Setup and bundling. React Native is a framework of JavaScript and it comes with all the essentials that you will need to set up and for the development of your application. React, on the other hand, is just a library of JavaScript. Therefore, when you use React, you will need various other tools for setup and development. Live Reload Live Reload or Hot Reload, as mentioned earlier, is a feature that allows you to code as well as see the modifications in your application simultaneously. React Native supports Live Reload whereas React does not. Template rendering. Both React and React Native use JSX for the development of views or the templates, but React is much better when it comes to styling your application's UI using CSS. React Native, on the other hand, makes use of native platform APIs. Learning curve. Even though React is not very difficult to learn, 
React Native is much easier. This is because you can make use of ready made components in React Native, while for React, you will have to code them yourself. So we've done a head to head comparison between React and React Native. The answer to which one is better among the two depends on the type of project that you're creating. If you are focusing on creating the UI for a web application, then React is what you need. But if your project is going to be a mobile application, then you can go with React Native. This brings us to the end of the session. I hope you guys have enjoyed and learned something new. In case you have any doubts or queries, please do let me know in the comment section and I will revert to you at the earliest. We'll be back with more and more exciting sessions, but till then, goodbye and take care.